Caveplant fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle. If you're not new here, thank you for coming back. I appreciate you for being here. If this is your first video or one of your first videos from me and you like what you see, definitely don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss all of my future uploads, which is like pretty much every day, six days a week for the most part, unless for some reason your girl's just having a day um, but majority of the time you're getting a new video. If you are a member, then you get even more new videos. <laughs> so there's that. Anyway, so for today's video, I thought it would be fun to talk about some of my favorite Hoya. I know you guys love seeing my Hoya collection and I'm not going to lie to you. It can feel a tad bit overwhelming <laughs> when I think about the idea of going through and showing you every single one in one video. So I try really hard to break it down into smaller bite-sized pieces of my collection and I thought that a fun way for us to do that is to talk about five Hoya that I am loving right now. So I feel like I've done this before but I haven't really made it a regular thing and I usually do my monthly favorites video. I thought that we could also do a monthly Hoya favorites and just which ones are really getting me excited or which ones I just feel like highlighting that maybe you haven't seen a lot of one that I don't show off very often. Um, we did do the 31 days of Hoyas. Um, it's like a short thing that I did back in October of last year. So that is on my channel. If you want to check out that playlist, it's really quick because each video is only a minute long, but I'm just showing you a different Hoya every day for the month of October. And I thought that maybe this could be something fun, a fun new series for the channel. Let me know in the comments below if that is something that you'd be interested in and make sure that you give this a thumbs up and share it with all your Hoya friends because then that lets me know that you guys like it so I can keep on doing it. Um, yeah, so five Hoya that I am loving right now. And number one, I tried so hard, you guys, not to just pick all of the new ones that I just got. So I actually didn't pick any of the new ones that I just got. <laughs> we will leave those for the next one um, because these are ones that I've been living with for a while and that are growing and thriving and ones that when I look at my cabinet and I look at my shelves just really stand out to me and have been making me extra happy. So. The first one is newer, but it's not like part of the like newest Hoya haul that I did. So I felt like it was safe <laughs> to include it and it is growing. So you haven't seen that. And it is the Hoya Bahoy. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, this is the one that I picked up from Jax's Jungle when I did that Hoya haul and it's one of my favorites like when i saw this one i told her i was like yes 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 i'm going to need it i don't even care how much it is i just need it it is veiny it is splashy it's everything that you could want in a hoya leaf it's big and it's growing a new leaf here and it's got another little like leaf nubby up here and this tendril has just continued to grow as I've had it. So I've had it for like, what, maybe a month now? I'm not exactly sure. If you didn't see that video, I can leave it linked up here, <laughs> linked up here for you guys if you wanna watch it, um, where I did like just like a whole unboxing of Hoya from Jax's Jungle. I have two more Hoya hauls up on my channel that I did recently. So like, if you love the Hoya content, I got plenty of it. So Hoya Bahoy, I don't really know. I can show you the tag. It's got their website on it too. B-A-H-O-I, jaxsjungle.com. So this is definitely just one that's been really fun 
to have in my collection. I, I'm obsessed with this leaf. If you told me like just to pick a leaf out of my Hoya collection, like this, this one would be up there on the list. So number one for today is this Hoya Bahoy. <laughs> Ahoy. Anyway, super cute. Number two on the list is one that I've had for a while. I got it as just a little baby cutting from Black Cat Gardener Shop like a hot minute ago. It was on the struggle bus. It had thrips or something go. I think this is thrip damage. It looks different on Hoya than it does on Aeroids. Um, I treated it, repotted it, all the things, and then it started growing for me. So this is my Hoya Nick Teen. It is a Nicholsonier hybrid crossed with I don't know Christine is that a is that a thing I genuinely don't remember and I tried to look it up and I couldn't find it so I apologize I can't remember uh, what the other parent plant is to this one but do you see this new leaf that came in so you could see these two got damaged and then it put out a new growth point and this is the new leaf that it gave me and it's literally Perfect. So I'm glad that we addressed whatever pest issue was going on here. I'm pretty sure that it was thrips um, or something. Genuinely don't know, but that does look like like thrip damage. So I'm just really excited to see this one bounce back and give me this massive leaf. I did not know that these leaves could even get this big. <laughs> so when it popped out, I was like, ooh, new leaf. And then every day it kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And I was like, what are you doing, girl? So I think it's finally done growing now. I'm sorry, the glare makes it kind of hard to see. It's just got really subtle, cute veining, but the edges will get like a little bit sun stressed with bright light on this one. So really, really cute hybrid Hoya. Definitely not mad about it. Let's look at this cute pot. I love this pot. Look at this leaf! So cute. So number two on my list is the Hoya Nick Teen. So cute. What's number three? Okay, number three is another hybrid, and this is one that I think is super underrated, and it is also growing for me. So I'm excited because a lot of my Hoya were on the struggle bus. There was definitely a pest issue going on, so if you missed it, we cleaned out the whole Thing, repotted everything gave everything that could be chopped a chop and now most of it is growing and it's healthy and happy and this plant is one of them so this is the Hoya RHP times fungi RHP stands for Royal Hawaiian purple which is a pubicalyx variety so you can kind of tell that it has a pubicalyx parent where it's got this dark stem and these nice dark leaves but then you can also see the fungi in there in that cute little subtle veining and splash and like the shape of the leaves it's just like a little bit more rounded this one just recently put out this new leaf for me that is not done hardening off yet and it's got another little baby leaf here that I'm trying not to knock off and lots of little leaf nubbies going up this tendril. So you could see we do have some older sort of damaged leaves on here. I don't want to remove it because it is still feeding the plant. Um, but they are like just this really nice dark green splashy veiny leaf that can get quite big. Um, probably going to need to give this one a trellis, you think? <laughs> so that the leaves can size up but Hoya pubicalyx RHP times fungi so this is a hybrid and you guys know I love fungi is one of my favorites I think it's super underrated so naturally I love this hybrid as well really really easy growing and I cannot wait to watch it size up look at that leaf absolutely stunning stunning I just stuttered it's stunning <laughs> everything is fine just gonna hit in the head with a tendril okay number four on my list 
is this absolutely gorgeous little Hoya and Glariana. Look at how stinking cute it is. I think I put this one in like my like May favorites or something maybe. I've, I've talked about it recently and I've posted about it. If you watch my shorts or if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I've posted this one recently because I've been loving it. I've been loving it. I've been trying to show you ones that I don't always show you, but I show you the ones usually that I'm loving <laughs> at the time. So Hoya and Glariana has these cute, teeny tiny little baby leaves with that really subtle little vein down the middle. I don't know why they kind of remind me of pasta, like little orzo pasta. It's like the shape of the leaf. Um, I just really like pasta, <laughs> but it's really stinking cute and it's starting to trail and I just, I love it. I absolutely love it. This was a little baby cutting from a friend and it has just really taken off. It's got new growth on every single one of these cute little vines and I am just, I'm loving it. I'm loving it right now. Hoya and Glariana. It's number four. And number five, the last one on my list is one that I just showed you guys um, in my shorts or like my reels if you follow me on Instagram, but I had to show you. I couldn't not put it on the list because I am loving it. It catches my eye every single day. It is absolutely stunning and it is the Hoya Larissa EPC 965. Absolutely stunning look at this leaf it's so veiny it's splashy it's it's got a bit of like a crusty vibe like I I just I absolutely love this plant so this was also a cutting um, this one I got from lighthouse Hoya uh, I think the RHP was also from no, that one I got on like a random Instagram sale, I think. Anyway, so this one was from Lighthouse Hoya, and this is the newest leaf that I put out, and I'm just obsessed with it. And this tendril is still nice and fresh, you can see, and growing, so hopefully we're going to get even more leaves. I should probably attach it to this little tray leaf trellis. I kind of just have it in here because it looks cute. Also, these pots are adorable if you want to know where I got these I can send you the link on Amazon just let me know um and tree leaf I have linked down in my description box if you're interested in these they have all different sizes all different like types of plants it's real wood made in the US small business all that good stuff and um yeah I just love it Hoya Larissa I get it confused with Irina, Irina, but they don't actually look alike when you put them side by side. So yeah, that is number five on my list of five Hoya that I am loving right now. And let me know in the comments below if this was something that you found interesting and something that you want to see more of. We can start doing this every month, like I said the same as we do my monthly favorites. We could just do like a monthly Hoya favorites because Hoya are my favorite and I have like a lot of them. A lot, a lot. So I thought it would be a fun way that's like less overwhelming and less stressful for me and my ADHD brain to show you <laughs> my Hoya collection. So let me know. I can even pop it into its own playlist so that you can just like let it run through if you want to. I will try to keep the rambling to a minimum for, <laughs> for that purpose. And um, if you enjoyed hanging out with me today, you should give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There is a join button down there if you want to be part of the official plant fam. Get yourself some perky perks. I did update some of the perks recently, so don't be afraid to hit that join button. It's not going to automatically do anything it's just going to show you what those perks are and all the different tiers and what your options are so if not there's the super thanks button <laughs> if you guys want to super thanks me everything is appreciated you guys know i love you like 
I'm not going to go on a tangent about it. I promise. <laughs> I appreciate you. Like I cannot do this without you. I am so, so, so beyond grateful for you that words just could never possibly do it justice. So I hope you know that I love you. I also hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are out there in the world. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.